What's good? What's good? Another episode of Something for the Culture. We got a special guest, none other than Humpback Chunk. Welcome to the culture. What it do? Humpback Chunk in this thing. What it is, everybody? <laughs> so, Simone, Chunkback, what do you want me to call you? Would you want me to call you oh, Humpback? Yeah. We, ain't, we ain't going with that Simone. Now. That's only Facebook. It's Humpback <laughs> Chunk. I'll call you behind the scenes. Okay, so we're going to call you Chunk. So, Chunk, right, yeah. let's kick this off. So, can you tell us, how, how did Cut Off go viral? How, how did you come about this? Well, shit, I, I, I said I was going to cut off a lot of people in tw- like last year, and I ended up cutting their asses off, you know what I'm saying, including my mama. You, you, you know that beginning of that song to say, I cut off my own mama to ask real shit. I had to cut off a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? That's why I made that song. I had to evaluate my life, you know what I'm saying? Too much fakeness, too much all that. You know, right. and it went viral because people was talking about my hump on my back. They were trying to talk they're down on me, which I don't give a damn, but that shit made it go viral, you know what I'm saying? So, speaking of that, because, you know, there's been a lot of comments, a lot of chitter-chatter, everything. How do How do you deal personally with some of the controversy behind your first video shit you know it don't hurt my feelings you know i used to go by chunky boy but i changed it to humpback chunk you know because i'd rather put my flaws out there for everybody to see so they don't think they can come hit me up and try to hurt my feelings it ain't gonna hurt my feelings you know what i'm saying so that's what i it didn't, it didn't bother me you know because I, I showed my humpback for a reason to put that out there Mm-hmm. It could be a little bit of funniness and a little bit of realness, you know what I'm saying? They got their attention, though, you know? Right. So, basically, you kind of poking fun at yourself while in the mix of giving some realness and some music. Yes, ma'am. You know, you might as well beat the enemy to it, you right? You know what I'm saying? Let it be known. So, they can't say shit. So, uh, you a fat bitch, or you got a hump in your back. Well, duh, motherfucker. My name is Humpback Chunk and, and duh. The fuck? No, that's right. So, what first got you into music? I love music. I always been writing music. I like to freestyle as well. I just love music. It's a part of my soul. Like, I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't think I would be a rapper. You know, I wanted to be a doctor, this, this, and that. But mm-hmm. as I got older, shit, I started, you know, liking it. I, I love my music, and I'll never stop for anybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if they talk about me, think I'm going to go cry and run into mommy. Nah, ain't none of that happening. I'm just going to keep it tough, send positive vibes to everybody, and that's what I'm going to do. I know that's right. So can you tell us, well, tell the people who are not familiar with who you are or your music. First off, where are you from? And I'm from Wichita, Kansas. I'm from Wichita, Kansas. I lived in Oklahoma for a while, but I'm from, I was born in Wichita, Kansas. Okay, so how do you think your OKC family and friends 
Yeah. Well, some of them talked about it. You know, they're like, oh, you ain't going to be shit. Oh, you know, and some of them were like, you go, you go, you do that, you do that. Mm -hmm. You know, some of them fuck with me, some of them fuck with me behind my back. They talked about me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of fakeness happened in Oklahoma City with a lot of people, even my own family. They didn't fuck with me, but now they want to hit me up and shit because bitchy moves and made it and shit. Like, I'm not fucking with you. You know, and the people yeah. that talk about me, I'm not fucking with y'all either. Because you can not get that same energy. You know what I'm saying? Right. I know I ain't perfect. What up, KD? Hey, that boy can say, I fuck with him. He always fuck with me and I fuck with him. I know that's right. Well, clearly, for the naysayers, you got fans. You clearly got fans. You got yeah, people yeah. reciting your your lines. I know. I I keep hearing people hearing them or posting about damn my nutty. Okay. <laughs> I that just nutty. <laughs> yeah. So let's move into that real quick. How did you come up with the concept for that song? Bitchy moves. The song is really called Bitchy Moves, and you know, shit. You know, females, and I'm gonna say I'm a female, and I know I'm a female. You know, but some people be like, you, you are a female. We, 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 we. You know, we get our bitchy moves. Hell, I get my bitchy moves too. Too, I'm talking about period. You know, I ain't gonna say a lot, but we talking about the females that you know. Right. They get their bitchy moves, so I was like, okay, I wanted to write something relatable. You know, so right. that's what I went with that. I'm like everybody can relate to their female or their family member and their bitchy move today. You know, so that's right. that's where I got that from. Okay. So who were some of your influences growing up? Um let me see, let me close this door. I don't know if you can hear the background or not, but okay. you um, did. my influence, I love Gucci Man, I love Boosie. I really didn't have a female influence, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I fucked with damn it. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Oh, Trina. Okay, Trina. I had to think of a name. I had a brain fart. I'm okay. with her. She's she a real bitch. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with her. You know, she kind of in the floor, but not really, but I fuck with her, you know? Okay. That's a good, that's a pretty good list there. So, okay. So I noticed that you have your lovely wife in the video with you. How yeah. is she dealing with the success of your two videos? Well, she wasn't around when the first one went viral. We've just been together for four months. Mm -hmm. But she is around for this one. Uh, the, the woman that was in cutoff notice is not the same female mm -hmm. that's in bitchy moves. But right now, she is really kind of getting hectic. Now, today, I just got me a, a promotion team. I just got me... Uh, um, Shit, I'm, I'm working on getting a manager. I got, you know what I'm saying? I got people really fuck with me. A lot of shit is happening. Like, right. Like, a lot of shit is just changing today. You know, I don't know, baby. She says she can handle it, but I know I'm not going to be home like I used to. You know what I'm saying? I might. Got to quit my job here as soon as this bread keeps rolling, like it's about to start rolling. You know, because I'm going to have to travel. Like, shit is getting real. My shit, my video is at 200. And 5k views. Mm -hmm. I want everybody to go subscribe to that shit for real. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And you know oh. what? I want to mention for those naysayers, some of the people that you know, criticize you because how you look in the video or whatever it may be. What I failed to realize is that y'all sharing it is helping her. Keep sharing it and laughing, but you're making this girl go viral. And if not for nothing, then she got a lot of fans. Whether you got a or not, she booming. She really is booming. Not only that, you know, what I like about you as an artist, and I kind of before the viral stuff, I like that you are consistent. You don't be given anything, and you're consistent from the time that I've kind of got put on to you up until you have you have been consistent. Yeah, I'm gonna keep my foot on that. I'm gonna keep my foot on that gas. I don't give a damn who talks about me because no, you know what. Right. The motherfuckers that talk about me, they probably not even happy with themselves, and they're not even perfect either. 
So how do they talk about somebody else to make them feel better? You know what they say in school when you're a kid, you know, you don't know who um they talk about you. Mama always say they talk about you because they're jealous. I didn't believe that shit, but when I grew up, they are they are jealous. You know what I'm saying? I might not be perfect on the outside, and yes, I got a hump on my back, and yes, I'm fat. But you know, the people that's talking about me, they got something wrong with them mentally. Sadly, they're not happy with themselves. I love myself. Hump back it all. Right. I love me. You know, so that's right. <laughs> Keep keep that same energy. It's all positivized this way, regardless, you know. So what kind of advice would you give to someone that started off like you, you know, in front of the mud up until this point right now where things are really starting to pick up for you? What kind of advice would you give? I would just say stay in the game. Keep keep your mind right. Don't let nobody knock you down. Stay positive. Positive is the same right thing. Pray. You know, don't, just because people don't like you, that don't mean stop doing you. Because more than likely, they like you deep down inside. The they just want you to quit to see how weak you are. You know what I'm saying? So I just say, just keep going. Don't give up. Keyword: Don't give up. In anything you do in life, it ain't music. It's anything. Don't give up. So how would you describe the type of music that you make for someone that's just kind of listening to your music through some of the YouTube or the Uh My music can be funny. Um, there's some music that can get you crunk maybe sometimes. It depends on how you feel, how many drinks you had. <laughs> I wouldn't really call it trap music or nothing like that because I never had a trap in my life. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna sit here and say I was trapping and this, this, and that when I really wasn't doing it. Like half these motherfuckers out here do. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not with the fake shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping it a hundred. You know, being true to myself. So, yeah. Okay. So, if you could collab with anybody, female or female, doesn't matter, who would you collab with and why? Uh. I would collab with hmm, yeah, damn. I'm gonna go ahead and say Young Blue. Okay, and why? Cause I like him because he's new and he's his music is good. He kind of reminds me of bringing back the real R&B. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't do that, but he's like new school R&B, but he's bringing it back. Just like Jacquees says, you know what I'm saying? I mean, mm -hmm. there's a couple of people I'll work with, but. I'm going to say Young Blue is one of my favorite artists because the first thing I think about when I listen to music, I look for Young Blue. So, yeah. Okay. If you can go open a show for any artist, who would it be for and why? I would open up for Gucci Man. Okay. Because, for one, he's my favorite artist and I fuck with him. And he got good music and been keeping good music. The nigga went to jail and came back and was still hitting. Yeah, you know, say or Boosie. That's also about my both favorite artists. Cause that's really hard to pick. Okay, what kind of message would you give your fans? Hey, everybody! I want y'all. It's, it's all about positive vibes. I just say, stay positive. You know, all this so much negative shit in the world. Stay positive. Do you? It's not one with having love in the world. You know, there's so much negative shit and hate and shit. Where the love at? You know, nobody's perfect. It ain't cute to talk about people. That shit ain't cute. Y'all think it's cute because y'all get a little clout, but y'all getting clout like, uh, okay, yeah, it's funny, but after a while, shit ain't funny. And if you grown, you shouldn't even be on that shit. Leave that shit for the high school and elementary kids. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm going to say to the people. Just stay positive and the positive vibes of y'all. No, that's right. What's the best advice you have been given throughout your entire music career up until this point? Don't give up. Um, keep your head in the game. Um, don't let nobody hurt your feelings. Don't let nobody, you know, bring you down. Um, and stay true to yourself. Okay. I, I want you to tell us, not only just us, but the, the, the people that are aspiring to be artists and singers and everything else, from the business side of things, now that you are now coming into that side of the music, 
Um, what's the most important thing you would could tell somebody some advice that they should know about the business side of music? It's a lot of work. Shit ain't easy. Shit is not easy. That is really, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you got to do it. You know, it's just so much steps you got to take to get your royalties. So much steps to promote your shit. To keep the people's attention. You just stay just stay on track. Just know it ain't easy and it's way more than just making a song. Do you feel like you may, or maybe not might, but kind of are like an inspiration to the kids that, or even not just kids, but some of the people that may have grown up with deformities or something of that nature, you feel like you're an inspiration to them? Yeah, because I'm sure they be getting talked about a knockdown and probably go home and cry when nobody's around because somebody to hurt their feelings because they're cold hearted. Mm. It's a lot of cold hearted motherfuckers in this world. It's ugly. I just want to let y'all know that's an ugly ass trait. It, there's no, there's no, no fucking reason y'all should be so hateful. I mean, I'm sure this ain't gonna go. Everybody probably watching this probably like, I don't know that yeah. Hey, it's just when you know, I just tell them if they gotta love yourself because you're here for a reason. God made you. You know, there's some people that's born didn't make it. You know, mm -hmm. some people, babies, you know, passed, rest in peace to people's children, but didn't make it. But you're here on this earth. Just because you're not perfect, you're here for a reason. We're all here for a reason. So can you tell us what is the process like for Humback Chunk? Like, what, what do you go through when you're about to lay down some of this heat with these videos like take us through your whole little process i smoke me a blunt my chill um i just i when i make my videos i want to do something that catch people's eye you mm. know um sometimes i freestyle because when i close my eyes i just see a whole nother world and i feel a beat differently than when i write it you know what i'm saying mm. so Basically, that's it. I know that's right. So, let's talk about the concept of the second video. So, the lyrics alone, the damn I nutted part, like, where, these lyrics is a little explicit. Like, how did you come about all of this? <laughs> well, when I say you and your bitchy you move, like, oh, I just nutted like shit. You and your bitch, you move, but uh, then you just gave me the best head of my life. <laughs> <laughs> you got your attitude, and then now you want to make me mad. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so because I know that you, I know you said that you maybe had some issues with your mom from the first song. Now for the second song, I mean, how did she feel about some of the lyrics with the second song? <laughs> She likes it. I mean, if she didn't like it, I'm sorry, baby, but hey, I'm just <laughs> writing my little heart out, and I know sex sells in a way. So, you know, I had to throw a little bit of nasty in there. Just a little bit of nasty. Uh, it, it was a whole lot of nasty. I don't know about no little bit. Shut up. Shut up. Nah. <laughs> don't play it. <laughs> you know? Okay, so, uh, no. are open. Not in the closet. As an uh, open lesbian. How do you feel like coming into this type of situation? And you know, not what society looks like, as me, this, you know, critique, critique, all of this. As a stud coming into this type of environment. Well, Whatever. of course, you know, there's a lot of males out there that don't think I can equal up to them because I'm not a real man. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand that. They always, you know, underestimate me. They don't really want to come support me or fuck with me. What up, Onyx? What up, sus? You know what I'm saying? They just rather try to down me. Like, they underestimate me because I'm a female. Like, okay, what you can do, I can do. I mean, yeah, you may have a real dick, but damn. I got a fake one. So, you know. No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people just... You know, talk that shit, and they're going to always talk that shit. There's some people that hate lesbians or whatever, but, you know, I, like I said, I love myself, and I'm not going to sit here and be unhappy to, to impress y'all motherfuckers. No, shit, my happiness is more important. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just keeping it real. 
Okay, now I'm about to talk your shit now. So look, so if you was not doing music, what do you think you would be doing right now? Um, being a pharmacist. Okay. Okay. So was that your first love before the music, or that was my plan B? Okay. Like, yeah, like, they don't have a plan. Still plan on going to school for that, yes. Because some people make it, some people don't. You gotta have a plan, though. You know what I'm saying? That's true. So I want to talk about some of these celebrities sharing posting a video. You had Chris Brown. Um, oh, he rock. Yep. You got I don't know how many reaction videos on YouTube going right now. Yeah, I got I got, got P M B Rock, I got Chris Brown, Jazzy Faye said my shit was good. B King, he the one that shared my shit for the first time. Trouble, um, and a whole bunch of other artists just shared it. You know what I'm saying? And they doing all these reaction videos and all that good shit, and I appreciate that shit, but. Some of the reaction videos are ugly. You know, they're being assholes, but they can get likes and follows. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's all good if they give you your views and do that. But, you know, I want that positive vibe this way, you know what I'm saying? But all the artists that posted my shit up, they were positive, though. They weren't talking that shit. People right. just start dropping the clothes talking they shit. They know my heart back is going to get them views, so they start posting up shit on shit and talking shit. All right. Okay, so I noticed that you had posted a kid had asked for your autograph. Like, how did that feel to get your a child asked for your autograph based off your videos? It, it felt good. It felt like wow, you know, people, you know, see me. My hard work is kind of paying off, and children look up to me. You know, what I'm saying like, oh. Can I can I get your autograph or can I had a couple of people at my job in like a couple of days ago approach me and they wanted to um take pictures with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, am I work clothes? You ain't got no choice. Well damn, okay. <laughs> I took the picture though. You know? So people well, they really fucking with me. Really I got more positive vibes than negative. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But people messy as hell. Keyword mm -hmm. messy, and they like to share the negative shit instead of the positive shit. But I got a lot of people ride with me on the positive side, though. You you're gonna get that. Period. You gonna get yeah. both sides. But as long as you keep being who you are, fuck it. Don't matter. Fuck it. Yes, ma'am. It is what it is. I mean, you are right now. To be honest with you, you know the good, the bad, everything in between. You're getting airplay. You're getting noticed. People know who you are. They know your songs. They quote lyrics. So you you yeah. influencing somebody? <laughs> yeah, I, I, a lot of people tell me they love me and they look up to me and I make them you know make them feel happy about themselves and they they like the positive vibe I give. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a lot of people that give that vibe. They, a lot of people get a vibe of like, oh, I'm the shit. Like, yeah, don't fuck with me. But I mean, damn. They, they, and half of the time, they full of shit. Not you know what I'm saying? So, so, so what's next for you? Tell us what's, what's upcoming for you. Um, actually, uh, this Saturday, I'm going to do another music video for X is a Dog. For all the people out there that got X's that are dogs. Yeah, I got a new music video I'm about to go ahead and record and do. Um, I got hella shows coming up. Um, I'm getting booked as we speak. Uh, shit. Just, I don't even know what's coming up. You know, life is unpredictable. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to see and tell y'all I know where everything is going to happen, but it's going to happen. Because y'all going to see more of me and my nigga Hump back back there. Okay. Say, say for the people in the back that they ain't hear you. <laughs> Y'all gonna see me and my hump back more often back there. You heard me? Okay, I know that's right. I want to ask you this because you know, like I said, being at you know, so many or what? What is one message based on about you and your looks that you want to to maybe the next child? 
they're probably getting bullied or whatever. If you ever want somebody to talk to, hit me up. I reply to all my fans and I reply to people. Like half these artists, they don't reply back because they think you're too good. No, hit me up. You're not alone. I'm here for you. I got your back. Um, you you can't you can't change who you are. You you're gonna have to to like who you are. You know you're gonna have to love yourself. You know you, you can't put yourself down because other motherfuckers don't like you. You're gonna just gonna have to roll with the flow and live what God gave you. It's okay. Wipe them tears, get back up, and keep smiling. Life is way, got a lot more in life than negativity that people love to spread. Just don't give up and shit. I love everybody. I love the ones that are imperfect like me. I love, you know, you're not alone. Just know that. You know what? You know what, Chunk? It has been uh, an honor to have you on the platform. You are truly the definition of something for the culture. You have came from the mud up into... And just for me personally, watching you over the time that I have known you get into this plateau right now, like, I'm so proud of you. Like, if ain't nobody told you, I'm proud of you. Well, thank you, sis. I really appreciate that. that. That's a good feeling to know that, you know, people are proud of me, you know. <laughs> we have comments here. You got people saying congrats, you know, talk to Chuck. Let's see this last one. Now, what up, Gary? I love you, bro. Oh, shout out to my, um... My label, my team, United Front Music, G Slide, that's the brain of the whole team. Love him. He all he's good people. Yeah. I love y'all. All y'all. Everybody that's watching. I love y'all. And the people that knew me before I made, I ain't gonna forget about you. I don't forget about the people who fuck with me genuinely. And the motherfuckers that are fake, fuck y'all. <laughs> with a with, fuck y'all with a strap, motherfucker. <laughs> Get the strap you said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo. So what I want to do is I want to play your song. Go but, ahead, baby. To be honest with you, I can't get that 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 one lyric. Damn, I nutted out my head. To be honest Everybody with you, can't get that. I just nutted. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I shouldn't even be saying this shit at work. Like for real. <laughs> But yeah, it's you truly an inspiration, and we're gonna let this play a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna let you say your last, give your last shout outs, and then we're gonna head. All right, all right, because right, I got another interview actually in like 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Y'all listen to this. I want y'all to damn. I can't talk. <laughs> Subscribe to my shit, and and I, I'm doing. I just, I'll say that after this. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, Poe.
<laughs> All right, y'all. So listen, I need y'all to go follow Humpback Chomp. Can go you follow me. Up all your social media links. Yep. <laughs> also, I want y'all to say this. Hey, I'm doing this new uh, thing now called um, the uh, I Just Nutted Challenge. Now, everybody send me a video of y'all, how y'all just nutted or how y'all dancing to the music. And I'll ca I'm cashing up in two people, $25, whoever's the winner, on Humpback Chalk on Instagram. So go follow me, subscribe to my YouTube channels, and shit, it's going to be popping. Y'all heard it here first. Y'all go ahead and get that challenge popping. So look, Humpback, it's been a pleasure having you on the platform. I wish you all the best and amazing success. I'm going to give you your last final shout outs. All right. And hey, you want to shout out any last people? Sure. I want to shout out to everybody that's watching right now. Thank you for the support, because y'all wouldn't be watching if y'all didn't fuck with me. Except some of y'all might be watching so y'all can talk y'all shit, but it's okay. <laughs> I just want to shout out, thank you, Jazzy, for having me on there. Anytime, and book. all of that shit. Uh, shit. Sending positive vibes to all y'all. And I'm sending, sending out positive vibes to my baby, because she looking right now. And shit. Hey. I love y'all. Positive vibes. Be easy. Y'all have a good night. We'll see y'all in the next episode. All right, bye.